Today, I want to talk to you about Kansas. Kansas? Kansas is a code word for a secret project known only to a very few people. Is it important? Kansas is the most important opportunity in the lifetime of Coca-Cola, yours and mine. Let me tell you how it got started. Five years ago, all Coke bottlers got together and we said to each other, let's really turn the heat on. I mean, it's okay to be number one, but what you really want to be is out in front and pulling away. What happened? What happened? I tell you, when this system gets together, it's impressive. We're way out in front, and we're really on a roll. Look at the line of products that we have. Coca-Cola is absolutely number one, the leader. Diet Coke, those people at Pepsi, they just don't know what to do about it. And Tab, Tab's going after Diet Pepsi. And Sprite, Sprite's really closing in on 7-Up. And when you look at all of our other new products, in the test markets, we can hardly keep Cherry Coke on the shelf. And we've just announced Minute Made with 10% Minute Made orange juice. Now that's a pretty good lineup. So now is the time to step up the pace and really blast off to new heights. How? Well, that's where Kansas comes in. Here's how. When we got started working on the formula for Diet Coke, we told the flavor chemists, don't come back until you've got the best. Well, they really did it right. But then, but they got to thinking, what happens if we use some of these new flavor complexes that we've discovered in Diet Coke and put them in Coca-Cola? Well, they did that and they came up with a new formula that was codenamed Kansas. And the new formula tasted even better than Coke. Well, we said, no, no way, this can't be. And so we went out and we did some blind taste tests. And then we did some more. And then we kept on and on and on. And now three years and some 190,000 tests later, we have a product that is preferred in blind tests over Coca-Cola by at least 20%. And when you identify it as new Coke, it wins by 61 to 39. Now that is 50% better. So we said we'd better go talk with our bottler system because this is big. And we talked and we all ended up in the same place. This new Coke is going to be the best Coke you've ever had. So we said, let's hit it, let's go, right now. That's why on Tuesday, April the 23rd at 11 a.m. in New York City, the chairman of the Coca-Cola company, Roberto Goizueta, is going to hold a press conference and he is going to tell the world that the best is getting better. We've got a new Coke taste, the best ever. So by May the 8th, the day that we begin our 100th anniversary, we will have good distribution of the best Coke you've ever had. And in that way, we honor the trust of the consumers by launching into our next century with a new beginning. By the way, you've all heard about the secret formula for Coke and about how it's deposited in a bank vault in Atlanta. Well, that's true. And it is also true that the new formula will be in there with the original. Okay, now here's what we must do. Because this new Coke is an opportunity of a lifetime. You will never, ever have a chance like this. And the success of what we, you and I, do together now will be with us for years and years to come. 
we're going to have an incredible trial and repeat. And we really want to nail down this window of opportunity, starting right now and moving through Memorial Day and July the 4th and Labor Day and keeping on. Now, you're going to have all the tools you need to get the job done. You'll have a complete plan guide with a kit full of details on the launch. We'll be in every bottling plant this week. You'll get the full rundown on merchandising and promotion and displays, everything you need. New advertising will be on the air shortly. So I guess we're lucky. We're the chosen few. Because in the hundred years of Coca-Cola, it happens to be us who are really going to make this bit of history happen. So let's let her rip. Let's land on the beaches and go all the way. And, and in that sense, you know, it's too bad that Mr. Woodruff, the patron of Coca-Cola, who recently passed away, that he isn't here to enjoy this moment because he was involved in this project from the very start. In fact, when he was told about the readiness of the project, he referred to the sign that you see in most plants around this country that says, Coca-Cola is a decent thing honestly made, a sublimated essence of all that America stands for. Now, Mr. Woodruff pointed out that there were two phrases missing from that. One was universally distributed, but the other one was conscientiously improved with the years, because that is what we stand for. And I would ask you to note the origin of the quote, because that is where Kansas came from. And I've got to tell you, we really have a strong line of products. And now, with this, the best Coke you've ever had, it really sets you apart. Doesn't it make you feel good to be number one? To be out in front? To be the standard against which all others will be measured? conscientiously improved, Kansas. Let's do it.